protecting you from Eliana isn't that hard. How so? She won't touch you if she has me. Yvonne, however, is a different story. Yvonne's in prison. So they say, but I heard Eliana on the phone. I thought Eliana hated her. I don't even know why she still talks to her. And what was the conversation about? Yvonne's planning an escape on Friday. And, and what is she going to do? Ford, you sound scared. I am. Yvonne is a monster. I know. Rhea, do you know anything about Nate? Nate? The name rings a bell. He was your uncle. Your dad, I presume? Do you know anything of what happened to him? Why do you ask? He died when I was three, and I don't know anything about it. It would help if someone told me. Rose should stop keeping you in the dark. He used to talk to Yvonne a lot. Him and some other guy did. Other guy? His best friend, I think. I can't remember his name. Did they get on well? Pretty well, if you ask me, but neither of them liked Yvonne. There was something about her. I was only six at the time. Didn't really understand. Did you hear anything of his death? Nate and that guy went to the bar, I think. Never saw them again. I think Yvonne followed them. Or maybe she was just going out too. Wouldn't know. She seemed to be up to something. Really? You don't believe me? I didn't mean that. This is just helpful information. Thanks. Missing for it already? Well, yes. I see him a lot. It's always hard to adapt when he's doing a lot. I miss you. What? Wait, what did I just say? No, I said absolutely nothing. Of course not. You said you miss me? No, no, I, I didn't say- I'm gonna leave. Sabrina, wait up. I love- But she's already left. When will I finally get to confess the truth? When will she listen to me? Freddy! And for once, you actually approach me. You know I mentioned Louisiana? Yes. She's evil, I swear. It even seems like she's planned to hurt someone. Isn't that far-fetched? She set a car on fire. Obviously she's capable of hurting someone. And who do you think she's going to hurt? That I must find out. See, even you don't know. When will you stop criticizing every single decision I make? When will you learn about making mistakes? Firstly, talking to Ford wasn't a mistake. Secondly, I didn't choose to talk to Louisiana. She approached me. Thirdly, what I do is my business and that does not automatically make it your business. Admit it. You need my help. I'll admit this. I don't need your help. Lily. It's Liliana to you. I'm heading to class. If you want a bank of class, that's your choice. Please, I didn't. Like you said earlier, see you tonight. Liliana storms away from her brother. I just did something stupid. What did you do? I told Johnny I missed him, then I took back what I said and ran off. If you do love him, that's kind of a dumb thing to do. I'm not going to lie. I hate myself. No, no, don't say that. I'm sure it's repairable. Make that cake, go back to Johnny's house, and give it to him. It will cheer him up. Are you sure it won't just make him more mad? Why would it? Does he like cake? Who doesn't? It's this one, I think. Dana rings the doorbell, nervously biting her lip. Dana? Hey! Yes, it's me. Lucky you came round on my day off. I'm a teacher now. Sounds boring. Come inside. Good to see you again. Livy hasn't been answering any of my calls or texts. It's like I never did exist and never will do. Livy is... Livy, put it that way. She does things her own way. Honestly, I believe that. She was the same when we were close. You two used to play together a lot. It was fun! We both enjoyed it. At least, I thought she did. I'm sure she did. She was just going through a lot. Lewis said that too. Told me she was struggling. Things have changed a lot, honestly. I can see. You and Nico separated? Yes, but I moved back in with him and Livy a few weeks ago because both of the kids needed us and we had to have a family chat. Sounds intriguing. It was quite serious, though. Nothing for you to worry about. I worry about everything. I was the same as a young girl. Everything seemed to take its toll on me. My friends, however, were the definition of perfect. Don't even speak to any of them now. Friends come and go. Only the true ones stay. At least you're wise. Unlike I was. I don't think your life turned out awfully. 
You have two amazing teenagers from what I've seen. Don't call Noah amazing. He might punch you. I don't even know the sort of things Noah gets up to. I know what teenage boys are like. Yeah, I only know like one teenage boy that is sensible. Surprising that you do know one. He knows my daughter. I wouldn't call them friends. More a friend of a friend. That sounds awkward. I don't think it's awkward. Johnny only really wants to talk to his best friend Ford, and Livy and Johnny are more of acquaintances than friends. But Ford and Livy are best friends, so it's sort of like a mutual friend in my opinion. I was told about Livy's best friend. Is he nice? He's awesome, honestly. He cares about Livy a lot. Is he sensible? You mentioned you only know one sensible boy. He is. He's just not a teenager yet. <laughs> I'm glad Livy's happy, though. She is, but more than anything, I think she wants me and Nico to get back together. Her divorced parents are living together. What do you expect? It'll never happen. Why not? Nico's in love again. You still love him, don't you? I made it too obvious, didn't I? Yes. I do still love him, but it's too late now. If you still love him, then you have to put up a fight. You can't just let him go. He'll choose what's right for him, but if you don't try, he'll automatically choose the other person. If you love him, then you have to do something. Are you sure? You can sit back and let everything fall into place, but you'll regret it. You seem to know a lot. Don't ask why. I won't then. I'm home. Hey, Livy left? Yeah, she went home. Seemed annoyed. Annoyed? Annoyed I was talking to another girl. She either has a crush on me, is jealous of me, or both. I wouldn't be surprised. And what do you mean by another girl? Eliana's sister. She was so helpful. She has a sister? Raylan. She's nice. Eliana was manipulating her as well. Why is she so controlling? When she has Yvonne as a mother, I wouldn't ask. Good point. I won't ask you then. And Raylan told me something bad. What did she say? That Yvonne was planning to escape on Friday. Oh no. Are you okay? At the moment, yes. But her main target is me. I wouldn't be surprised if she shows up at her house and tries to run me over. It's what she does best. Don't I know that? The door clicks open. Lila stumbles inside, carrying heavy shopping bags. Hey, Ford. Johnny, how are you feeling? Just fine. Stop asking. Maybe it's not just me getting annoyed at my mom. My mom is annoying. And why am I annoying? You never leave me alone. I don't want a special treatment. I wasn't- You kind of were. You're at our house far too much, and this is a conversation between me and Johnny. It doesn't concern you. Don't speak to Ford like that ever again. It's fine. I was just leaving. No, you weren't. The only way I can see you is be coming here. Clearly, she doesn't want me seeing you. Ford, I didn't mean- Yes, you did. No, I- Please, Lila, you know what I meant. The only person who seems to want me around is Johnny, and I don't even know why I cry anymore. Ford runs out the door, his phone falling out of his pocket on the way out. He doesn't notice. Really, Mom? He's the only person that treats me normally, and you had to talk to him like that. You know he's fragile at the moment. But Johnny, we never get alone time together. Did I say I wanted to spend time with you? Why do you always snap at everyone except Ford now? It's like you're a different person now. Ford said the exact opposite. I'm your mother, Johnny, not your best friend. At least my best friend doesn't judge me and treat me like some special case. Unlike you, Kara, and everyone else who drops by. Johnny, I'm- Just leave me alone, and Ford will be back later, so just leave his phone on the table. Ford? You sound surprised. I only read the doorbell of my own home. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound surprised. Come in. Not with Johnny? Let's just say his mother didn't want me around anymore, so I ran off. And for the final time, Mom, I did not set your car on fire. I tried to tell her, though. Sounded like a dangerous joke someone had played. Someone has it out for me, and I don't know who. But it feels like you, Mom, and Lila, and Louisiana, and everyone else has it out for me. Well, I'm sick of it. I don't want to be blamed for everything that goes wrong anymore. No one has it out for you, Ford. Yes, they do. 
Maybe he's right. I thought you'd be on my side. There's sides now? There's nowhere I can go where people actually treat me nicely? Ford, I wasn't... Maybe I'm not as introverted as I used to be, but I still have fears, and you're not helping me. I used to look up to you. Right now, Johnny, Livy, and Nico are the only people I can look up to. Ford? What? How about I take you out to the cafe for a little while? Just us two. Help you calm down? First of all, I don't need calming down. Second of all, that would be kind of nice. Let's go in now. We'll be fine, Rose. Don't worry. Fine. Do what you want. Don't mind me. And you're still following me? I don't have anyone else to hang around with, do I? Exactly why we need to stick together. Please don't do anything else stupid, though. That's my choice to make. A bad choice, though. But still a choice. You're never going to learn, are you? No, I'm not. I wish we could go back to the old days. Well, we can't. <sighs> I know. What do you think I'm supposed to do now? You should talk to Livy. She really enjoys talking to you, and she knows more about Johnny and your situation than I do. I know, but sometimes I can't help but wonder if she sees me as more of a burden than a friend. Of course not. She doesn't see you like that. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey! I'm new here! Hey! Uh, I'm Cece. Pleased to meet you. The name's Sienna. I'm so nervous. I'm always moving schools. My brother? Well, he never really listens to me. Follow me. I'll show you to class. Thank you so much. Can we be friends? Of course we can. I don't really have any friends anyway. Not after my brother's... Your brother's what? Accident. He was in an accident. That sounds awful. It was. Come on, then. Eric collides with Noah in a corridor. Sorry, I, I didn't mean... Don't worry about it. I'll, uh, head to class now. I'll be careful next time. See you around. Yeah, sure. Eric starts to walk away. Wait, I never heard your name. But he's already out of sight. I need a friend, but I'm never going to make friends behaving like this. Kara starts to unlock the front door until she hears a voice. Hey! And what do you want? I... Um, I'm Autumn. So? I'm looking for my cousins. Cousins? Kara and Johnny. I happen to know them? First of all, I'm Kara. Second of all, why are you here? To see you. I was told about what you did, though. That's horrible. I regret it. Okay, though, come inside. The two head inside. Autumn. What is going on now? I found our cousin wanting to come inside. Oh. I heard we had a cousin. She wanted to see us. Don't ask me. I want to know my cousins. And I want my mom to stop treating me like a young kid. Johnny, stop this, please. You sent my best friend away. Goodness knows where he is right now. He'll be safe. Has he texted? He dropped his phone in our hallway. Do you think he's texted? Sorry. So you can't even know he's safe? No, I can't. No thanks to you. I'm calling Nico. At least he appreciates Ford. Rose doesn't. Suit yourself. Ford smiles at Nico as he munches the triple chocolate cookie that Nico had ordered. Is that your phone? Yes, it's Johnny. You can answer it. Hey, Johnny. Just checking Ford is okay. I'm worried. He left his mobile here. He's with me right now. He'll be fine. I promise. Thank you so much. Talk soon. Tell Ford not to listen to my mom. I will do. Nico cuts off the phone, smiling at Ford. Someone obviously cares a lot about you. I know Johnny does, but no one else does. But at least you have someone. Yeah, I suppose so. And Nico, thank you for helping me. It's nice to have an adult that cares, even if my own mom doesn't. You don't have to thank me. I just hope that my mom finally tells me what happened to my dad. That's all I ask. She will, eventually. I hope. The entrance to the cafe swings open. Eliana storms in, staring Ford down. Oh no, I'm in trouble. 